a warning against unbelief. In Hebrews chapter 3, Scripture says, Today, if you will hear his voice, hearten not your hearts, as Israel did when they rebelled, when they tested God in the wilderness. There your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw my miracles for 40 years. So I was angry with them. And I see it, the hearts always turns away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. Out of all the people who left Egypt, only two of them went into the promised land, Caleb and Joshua. The Holy Spirit speaks to us every day. We must listen to what he has to say and obey what he tells us to do. There's a price to be paid for disobedience. The word says to believers, be careful. Make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning you away from the living God. You must warn each other every day while it is still to date so that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardened against God. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all that belongs to Christ. Remember what it says today when you hear his voice, don't harden your heart as Israel did when they rebelled. Who were the people who heard God's voice and rebelled against him? All those who were led out of Egypt by Moses, with whom was God angry for 40 years. He was angry with those who sinned and died in the desert, who did God swear would never enter his place of rest. He was talking about those who didn't obey him. So we see that they couldn't enter his place of rest because they didn't believe. Those of us who believe will enter God's place of rest. God promised that we may enter his place of rest, still stands. We have heard the same good news that your ancestors heard, but the message didn't help those who heard it in the past because they didn't believe. For only we who believe can enter his rest. As for the others, God said, in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. Israel was God's people, but because they rebelled and did not obey him, they couldn't enter his place of rest because they didn't believe. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Learn from what happened in the time of Moses. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that all our ancestors who left Egypt were under the cloud, and they all went through the sea. They all united with Moses by baptism in the cloud and in the sea. All of them ate the same spiritual food, and all of them drank the same spiritual drink. They drank from the spiritual rock that went with them, and that rock was Christ. Yet, God was not pleased with most of them, so their dead bodies were scattered over the desert. Don't complain as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. These things happened to make them an example for others. These things were written down as a warning for us 
who are living in the closing days of history. So people who think they are standing firm should be careful that they don't fall. The temptation in your life are not no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Jesus Christ is our high priest. So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all the same testing we do. Yet, he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Jesus is the only way. Jesus said, we must always pray and never give up. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Light Ministries. You have a blessed day.